Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 East to West Alta 2100 MB travel trailer. This is a bunkhouse travel trailer, non-slide out, fiberglass exterior, all aluminum frame, laminated construction, even has the nicer Asdale composite sidewalls. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside and come back to the outside of the RV, show you around. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new Alta 2100 MB by East to West here. And we're going to start looking at the front of the RV, and then we'll kind of spin our way around here and look toward the rear. Now, looking up toward the front, you can see there is a sofa right there. This is a Murphy bed model. Now, that sofa does actually have a little kick-out foot recliner on it as well. You can see it pop up there. To do the Murphy bed setup, you basically just flip the sofa down. You technically could sleep on that if you wanted to, although the bed would be a lot more comfortable. Then once the sofa's in down mode, there's a little latch on the left hand side that you pop and then the bed will come down. It makes it into a nice size bed there. Now you have little stands on each side of the bed, electric outlet and USB charger ports at the bottom of each stand there. Hanging closet on both sides of the bed as well. Roof vent in the roof right there. There's three roof vents in this camper, which is pretty unusual. Most brands nowadays just do one in the bathroom. Every now and then you'll see one somewhere, but most of the time it's just one in the bathroom for a lot of these brands because they're trying to save a dollar. The other roof vent right up there. It's ducted air, and then the heat is ducted through the cabinets. Now down on the side of the cabinet here is gonna be your stereo controls. You got a couple speakers there. You can also see the furnace exhaust down there, or the furnace uh, duct there. There's a couple light switches there, which basically turn on the bedroom area lights here, and the other one turns on the little LED light strip below the cabinets there. Now you have three full extending ball bearing drawer guide cabinets there, along with some storage on the left. Another cabinet below the uh, little pull-out drawer, I mean, below the Magic Chef oven. And that oven does have a light built in. And also, if you flip the switch the other way, the knobs light up. And then you have a three burner stove top with a flip up glass lid. Sink wise, you have a large stainless sink there, single bowl with the big arching sprayer faucet there. Decent size cabinets up above. And then on the cabinet side is also your monitor panel, which has the awning in and out button, some more light switches, water heater on gas button, water pump button, and then your tank readers as well. Magic Chef microwave with the uh, matching hood range and light there. And then you also have the Magic Chef 10.7 12 volt refrigerator system. Pretty good size fridge. Nice thing here that I also kind of notice and like is that all these appliances match. They're the same name brand. Not that it really matters, but it's kind of nice. big window overlooking the side of your camp area. Now down on the side of the uh, dinette down there is your electric box with your breakers and fuses and also your propane leak detector. Now you do have two drawers built into the uh, dinette area here that pull out. Again, full extending ball burn drawer guides. A completely freestanding dinette table. So on a nice day, you want to sit outside, eat, cook out there, you can take this table right outside and use it. It's got a pretty heavy duty frame system there and even has little adjustable feet on it. Now in the bunk area back here, you can obviously see the flat screen TV there. 
Now that TV is on a mount, so you can swivel it toward the couch or you can swivel it so they can watch it back here in the back. Obviously it would be a little hard for the lower bunk to see it, but the upper bunk can see it just fine. Little cabinet area here. So you have three drawers down here. And then you also have the little pet friendly bowl you're seeing pop up there and a pretty good size cabinet. Now on the lower bunk, this bunk does flip up, giving you a taller storage area right here. So you could put a you know bicycle or something small back here, you know, kids' bikes kind of thing. And in the bunk area, you can obviously see you have a light, there's a window. Also, they have the pull-out blackout shades on those windows. Those windows do open. And you have USB charger ports on both sides. You can see the ladder right there as well. The ladder just hooks right on here to these little hooks. Now, right here beside the refrigerator is another cabinet, little pantry area. And you have your bathroom back here in the back, and this is a pretty good sized bathroom for a smaller RV. So you have some storage down below the sink area, along with a decent sized little medicine cabinet. It's an all wood medicine cabinet instead of plastic. You have a window in the bathroom that again does open. Air conditioning and heat both in the bathroom. Shower has a little pull across door here. You can obviously see the linen area there. Quite a bit of linen space there. And a foot flush toilet. But overall, a pretty good sized bathroom for a small RV. Again, um, just a nice little feature to have to be able to get in and out of there, use the bathroom, take a shower without having to kick people out of the RV to do that. Again, guys, thanks for checking out the video. We're going to head to the outside now, show you around. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this Alta trailer by East to West. And we're going to start here in the front section. You can see a nice hard three-quarter fiberglass front shell on the RV has two LED light strips kind of a glow light strip down each side there pretty cool little look definitely at nighttime uh, has a lower diamond plate metal across the bottom two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator power tongue jack two and five sixteenths hitch ball standard safety chains and seven-way Bargman plug now there is a battery that comes with the RV from Couches RV Nation, none from the factory when you purchase it, so make sure your dealer, wherever you get it from, does at least give you a battery. You see those little gray brackets there? That is part of the Blue Ox Sway Pro Hitch System that this customer has chose to go with. Definitely talk with your salesperson about that. Really nice hitch system. Now on the front of the RV here behind this baggage door is a large storage compartment. And this storage compartment is taller than many travel trailer brands in part because they do a drop frame on the front of the RV, which allows for a larger storage compartment here. You have an electric outlet and light in there. Kind of see the aluminum tube framing there as well. Slam lock baggage doors with the magnetic holders. Again, fiberglass exterior here is attached to an Asdale composite sidewall material. So there's no Luon board in that sidewall to rot and bubble and delaminate on the outside. Really nice upgrade to an RV construction. Personally, I think they all should be kind of doing that just to help you guys spend a lot of money on these things be a nice thing to help uh, add to the lifelong quality of the RV. Power awning here, push a button, it goes in and out, nice and easy to do, has the adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. LED light strip there you can see going down the side. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the door. This has the more ride step on it. This is an optional feature. You don't have to get this step, but a pretty cool little feature is this little toolbox in behind it when you do this step. Nice upgrade there. 
deep tent safety glass windows. The unit also has the enclosed underbelly, which is heated and enclosed, and it uh, just kind of helps extend the camping season a little bit longer for you in the fall or earlier in the spring. Aluminum wheels, tandem axle, four-wheel brakes. Outdoor speakers out here, so you just uh, you know, change them from the inside to the out, or you can listen to all of them at the same time. Little outdoor kitchen here, so you have a small mini fridge. There's an electric outlet back in that shelf area as well. Stainless steel 8500 BTU burner. Down on the corner there is the gas hookup. And then on the corner of the sidewall is an outside spray port right there. You hook the little blue hose you've seen on the inside right into that so you could spray things down outside if needed. On the back corner of the RV here is your six gallon gas and electric water heater. And the electric button is in that lower left corner. Gas button on the inside of the RV. Spare tire on the back. Typical four inch square tube bumper. Uh, some people choose to do a bike rack on the back of here, but again, they are limited on weight. So just be a little cautious on that. You have a large ladder here, comes all the way down, nice and easy to climb up to instead of some of the three quarter ladders that some brands have. So it does come down a little lower. It's just a little bit easier to step up to. Pre-wired for backup camera. Nice arch there on the roof, again, for better water runoff. Now down here on this side, you're going to also see your low point water drains just behind the jack there, hot and cold. And then you've got power jacks and you'll notice that you'll see two buttons in the back and two buttons up toward the front. That's because each jack is individually controlled, which is another upgrade over most brands of electric jacks. A lot of them are just one button for the back, one button for the front. They come down, touch the ground and you can't really adjust them. So that's a nice little upgrade there. And then your dump area right here, you can also see the light that we have on. That light is standard, so if you have to come out and dump at nighttime or something, that's a nice little thing to have. Your dump handles are just up behind that skirting there coming out of the side frame. Black tank flush right here to clean out the toilet system. Furnace exhaust right here. Now up here is your front jack buttons and down below is the fresh water tank drain. Fresh water tank fill right here on the side. And then you have a docking station right here as well. Nice little feature. You've got the light here, motion light. So you can either turn it on, turn it off or put it in motion mode. You have your outside utility shower. Again, that blue hose will plug right into that. City water connection, battery disconnect, cable satellite inlets, and the light switch for your front cap. And then you got your little handle there for uh, manually doing the spare tire, or I'm sorry, the jacks if needed. Again, slam lock baggage doors. Back here is your pre-wire for a portable solar panel. Now you're going to also see pop up here, we're going to do your weight stickers for you. So you're going to see your gross vehicle weight sticker. You're going to see your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. Your tire sticker. Carrying capacity sticker. Again, guys, thanks for checking out my video. Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, guys. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you guys a lot of money. You can come pick it up at their store, or they'll ship it right to your house or your campsite. They have freight companies that'll bring it right to you. Again, check them out, guys. Thanks for checking out the videos.